Hello Libras. I'm Cindy. Welcome to my channel, Bringer of Light Intuitive. I'm trying something a little new today. I'm coming on camera. You'll have to let me know which format you like better. If you like seeing just the cards or if you like seeing me hold the cards. Let me know. So we're doing a new moon reading today. For you, we're starting with you because you, my Libras, have been my most watched videos every time I do a Zodiac series. So we are starting with you. I want to tell you thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for your likes, comments, comments, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate. I'm just building my tribe here and getting this channel going, and I really appreciate all your support. So this is a new moon reading for the new moon in Sagittarius. It's coming up this week. Good luck is on our side. And a new start is coming. So let's see what that new start means for you, Libra. All right. This is good for my Libras in the placements of Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Whatever resonates the best for you, Libra. So let's get an overall energy from the moon cards to see what is going on for you, what they want you to focus on for this new moon. Are you setting your intentions for the new moon? All right, Spirit, thank you for my Libras. Thank you that they are the most watched videos of my Zodiac series. Thank you for blessing this reading. Thank you for telling my Libras exactly what they need to know. And you won't believe it, but I'm pretty sure you saw that one flip. Guess what it was? New Moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positives. So, the message for you, Libra, is focus on the positives. You may have some not-so-positive things going on in your life right now. The energies have been pretty tremendous, pretty challenging. So, they're telling you, let's focus on the positives. Let's breathe through it. We're going to stick it right there. Hopefully you can see that. On the bottom of the deck it says, cool your emotions. Focus on the positives. Cool your emotions. Try not to let the energies that are going on right now, any kind of chaos or fighting, whatever it is that's going on in your world, Libra, try not to let it get to you. Let's focus on the positives. So let's see what the message is for you and what change is coming for you because we have focus on the positives but we have a new start coming with this new moon can you see that hopefully you can see that um, let's see what this new start is all about so I kind of feel like this new start has something to do with positive energy that maybe you have been waiting for or needing to come into your life maybe you've been going through some challenges and you're needing some positive energy some positive breakthrough. So Spirit, what is this new start that's coming from my Libras? What does it have to do with this focusing on the positives? Thank you for the messages for my Libras. Let's see what is going on for Libra. Ooh, some fast forward movement. Ooh, Page of Swords. Ah, okay. We have the Knight of Swords. This is something happening very quickly, maybe unexpectedly. This could be some news coming in for you. You have the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So this can mean a couple of things, Libra. This can be your energy because it is, it is air energy. It can mean that you're a little bit in your head. We've got the Five of Cups here. This is somebody who has had a lot of past regrets and maybe in love. Some their focus. This person is focused on all of the things that meant something in their heart, whether it's a love relationship or something in their life that they just really poured their whole heart into that didn't work out. She's focused on the ones that didn't work out and she's missing, or not missing, but she's not seeing the love or the opportunity that's right next to her. See how she's not focusing on that? She is not noticing that there is new good things coming for her right there that's going to make her very happy because the cup's energy is emotion. It's happiness. And if you can tell, Libra, this one is all lit up. There's something new coming for you that's going to make you really happy. 
as I say that, we have the Knight of Cups. There's somebody coming or something coming towards you that is going to make you very, very happy. After a time of really kind of just being down and in your head and going through a period of healing. This is someone who's healing. We have the lovers here and we have the star. These two are faded energy. This is destiny. These are what I love to call the destiny cards. They're the major arcanas. They're the destiny cards that you're faded to go through whatever you've been going through to get to where you're going. Um, <clears throat> this new start that's coming towards you. Let me just get my cards all in a more organized fashion here. What's coming towards you is actually healing, wish fulfillment, prayers answered, something that's going to align with your heart like a soulmate energy. If you're looking for love, you have a lot of disappointment in the past that you might have been focused on, but you have this new love coming. You have a new start in love coming. This is somebody who wants to spend time with you. This is somebody who wants to wine and dine you. This is somebody who wants to pour love into you and just treat you so good. They want to bring you flowers. They want to have picnics in the park with you. They want to just pour love into you. <clears throat> this is a soulmate energy. Okay? This is your destiny. This is a, a destined person, a very, very important connection. Now, you may or may not already know about this connection, Libra. You may or may not already know. And if you don't, we have the Knight of Swords that came out, very the very first card that came out. This is a knight that's coming to you with some incredible news that's very unexpected. So if you don't know who this person is, I'm talking to Libras that are looking for love right now. Okay? I have a couple of scenarios in my mind, some a couple of messages for you. But the first message I'm talking about is for somebody who's looking for love. Now, this person may or may not be known to you. They look to me like they're coming out of nowhere. Very unexpected and very, very fast. All of a sudden, they're going to show up with a message of love for you. You have two messages here. These are both messenger cards. This one is the love offer. This one is messages some kind of message for you. Now this could be a text, this could be an email, this could be somebody rushing to you. They may be at a distance from you, Libra. Somebody coming to tell you that they wanna start some new, something new with you. This could be somebody just kind of showing up into your world that, that starts conversations with you and you start in a communicative way and then it moves into, they wanna give you a love offer pretty quickly because this is very fast moving energy. Now, I feel like you know who this person is and if you don't, they know who you are because they, we have the page of swords. Now this could be your energy watching somebody. This is somebody watching and learning about maybe your social media watching you, maybe you watching them, learning all that they wanna, that they, they want to learn all they can learn about you or you about someone else. Now, you could be a cross watcher watching this about a Libra, and this could be your energy watching your Libra and learning everything that you can about them, and you're getting ready to rush towards them and give them an offer. And maybe you have even been going through a period where you had to go through some healing because you have a lot. Look at this. You have a lot of heartbreak, a lot of stress, a lot of challenges that you've been really just kind of taking a time out and healing from. Um, now, this in this healing card, they've put their heart on the side. They've put love on the side while they heal from some situations that didn't work out. Maybe somebody didn't treat you very well and put you in your head and you had a lot of healing to do in order to come out and be ready for this love that's coming for you. Okay? Now, Libra, we have two fives in a row. 
there's two things I'm getting about this. The five is the number of change. The five for me as a reader is all about overcoming obstacles. You've had to overcome a lot. Mental, you know, anxiety, anxious, fear, stuff like that, stress, but also heartbreak. You have really come through a lot, Libra. And they want you to focus on the positive. They want you to remember that with this new moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. Remember your good luck, okay? And this new start that's coming for you, it looks like it's coming in love. But let me tell you about the second scenario that I have in my mind for all of you who are already in a love relationship and you are not looking for love. Oh, but first, two fives together is about a relationship, okay? Two fives together is about a relationship. So it's looking to me, Libra, like the new start coming for you could be a new relationship coming that is going to be a soulmate relationship for you. Somebody who's been watching you who's been trying to learn all they can about you, and they're now getting up their nerve to come rushing towards you and tell you, you know what, Libra? I don't want to miss out on, on an opportunity with you. I am ready to come, and I am ready to show you love. Let's start a new life together. Okay? Two fives together, coming up next to each other, is about a relationship. Okay, this could be a relationship that is love. This could be a relationship that is like business partners, siblings. It's about a relationship. So it looks like there's a new start for my Libras in some kind of a relationship. Now, if this is not around a relationship, if that doesn't resonate for you, Libra, you take what resonates and leave anything that doesn't, okay? So if that does not resonate for you, this is a brand new start of some other kind. Now, you have maybe had, you have this Four of Swords here, and that's a lot of healing. That's a lot of taking your energy back. This is your energy. So this, is, this can be self-care. This can be you healing from an illness. This can be you just taking time out because maybe you've been overworking, you've been overburdened, you've been overstressed, and you've been taking some time out to really go within. Just pour love into yourself, self-care, and healing from something. Now, if this is not love that you've healed from, you have maybe had some past disappointments or a lot of stress this year. Maybe you've gone through a lot of challenging energy this year and your new start is maybe taking courses, being a student and learning how to increase some kind of skill that you have or that you're interested in. And this new start is going to be kind of like a wish fulfillment. You're learning something new with this energy here. You're learning something new and it's going to really resonate with your soul. If I can pick this card up here, it's going to really resonate with your soul. Now this lover's card, if it's not love that is happening for you, Libra, with this new start that's coming for you, this positive new start coming for you is going to align with your heart. And if you have a choice to make, which it really, you could, you could have a choice to make with this love or this opportunity. These are two messengers. Maybe you're getting some kind of promotion at work. Maybe you've been offered two jobs. Maybe you've been offered two promotions. This card suggests that you want to take the one that resonates the most with your heart. Okay, this is, this is the energy of making a heart decision something that resonates with your heart. It's going to feel like a soulmate opportunity for you. Soulmate job, starting your own business that really you have so much passion for. You know, it's something that you have a lot of passion for and you've maybe, whoops, you've maybe been taking some courses on to increase your skill and now you're ready. Now you're ready and it feels so aligned. You're attached to all this light. This is divine energy. This is divine support for whatever it is that you're following your heart and doing. 
In this new moon, set your intention for what you want and make sure you're choosing to follow your heart. Put all of this energy behind you and focus on the positive. You have this focus on the positive card. They want you, this is the highlight for you, Libra. This is what they want for you this week with this new moon for you to focus on the positive. And it just so happens to be the new moon in Sagittarius. So like that is more of a confirmation for me that this is what they want for you this week. Okay. Focus on the positive. Really just leave all of this energy in the past. This is regrets. This is focusing on everything that has not worked out for you and real, not realizing that you have stuff coming in your future that is good for you, that you're going to love, that's going to resonate with your heart and make you happy. Okay? This is somebody who listens to their thoughts that are negative. Stop listening to that squawker thoughts that are in your ear telling you about all the negative things that didn't work out in the past and telling you that you don't have good luck for the future because you do have good luck for the future. You have it right here. You're, it's coming out in your energy and you have all of this great energy that's coming for you. This new start coming for you is going to come maybe unexpectedly and you're gonna love it, okay? And it could be you getting inspiration, Libra, because you've learned everything that you want to learn about a situation and you're ready to move forward and you're ready now. This is somebody who's made a decision and they are like running towards making that decision come to fulfillment. Really, really decisive, really, really um, on a mission. Look at him. He's on a mission and it's going to make you really happy. And you've done a lot of healing. You're ready. So let's get you some advice from the angels. At the bottom of the deck, we have this Ten of Wands. That's the end of a really burdensome cycle. You're at the end and you literally have this ending here that is ending now. This is a burdensome cycle that you've been on that's probably been a long, long journey that you have held so much on your back. It's time for you to put all that down and realize that you have this new start coming, whoops, this one. This new start coming with this new moon. Believe in it, believe in your good luck. Believe in the positivity. These are your cards. This is what's come out for you this week. Okay, so let's get some advice from your angels as we close this reading for you, Libra. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for being my most watched videos of my Zodiac series always you guys are every week my best you have help coming if you don't know what to do or what um path to take or steps to take you have help coming and this could be from watching this video this can be somebody uh, your friends this could be somebody that you find online that gives you help that gives you some inspiration that gives you some kind of information you learning something new that's going to help move things along. This new start that's coming towards you, it's going to help. Whatever that is to you, it could be family, could be friends, could be me, other tarot readers, and it's happening in the near future. Look at that, Libra. All right, what else, what else for my Libras as we close? Is there any advice that you can give my Libras? Get excited. You have help coming. You have, in the near future, you have positive things. You've been going through a lot, Libra. And it's time for that cycle to close. Don't stop believing. Don't stop believing. Things are changing. Okay? As I say... Ask for help. And now this can be tarot readings. You're getting help when you watch tarot readings. What resonates for you can help you. Um, this can be therapy. This can be friends. This can be family. You can get help from anywhere. This can be downloads to your intuition. Really pay attention to your intuition. And look, you have big happy changes. As I throw it across the place here. 
Big happy changes. Big happy positive changes. A new start. Okay, Libra. I hope you can see this. What a great reading for you. I'm so happy for you, Libra. I'm going to put this right here. New start. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know how you like this. Um, me being on camera instead of just showing you the cards. Let me know. Thank you for being the first in this Zodiac series again. Happy new moon. And let me know what this means for you because we're all different. And there's a new start coming in love or something else that's going to make you really, really happy. So I can't wait to hear what it is. If this resonated for you, please subscribe. It helps me to connect with your energy better so that I can deliver more readings that are, that are very personal to you. Be sure you watch all of your placements to get a big picture of what's going on with this new start that's coming. Your other placements may tell you more to the story. Okay, and... If you want a private reading with me, that information is down below. If you love this reading, there's a link down below that you can buy me a coffee and help me support this channel. Tell your friends, and thank you so much.